we've got George as our first picture. But look what we can do here. Are you ready to see this? We can move the pictures around. So if I grab this picture, I can move it. Let's see if we can find another picture of George to put a second. It's not moving as easily as you'd hoped, huh? Oh, there you got it, second. Nicely done. We've got George and George with his family, and then we've got Ben. So where's another? That's Benjamin Wright, Franklin writing, and that's Benjamin writing the Declaration of Independence, and that's at the library. Need his battles. Okay, can you move it to be next? All right, thanks. Now here's my next question for you. Now we have this picture of George as president, this picture of George with his family, and this picture of George's battles. Do we want them in that order, or do we want to change that? Yeah. Angie, what are you thinking? We should put the battle first. Why? And then he battled first before he was president. Okay, come up and move the battles. Can you drag it over? All right, thanks. We've got the kite. We've got the library, we've got him writing, and we've got the Declaration of Independence. What do you think we should do with those? Dala, what are you thinking? Declaration of Independence first. Why? Because I think he did it first. Okay. We're not real sure about the order of his things as much, are we? No. Do you think that was a really important no. thing he did? Yeah. Come move it. So it's kind of a neat thing to put after George. You can move it right up there, sweet girl. There you go. Nicely done. Um, and I wanted to spend the time sorting those images, both to kind of make sure that they understood the difference between George Washington and Benjamin Franklin. Um, we've found in the past that sometimes if we zip through people too quickly, they begin to blur in their understanding. Um, so help, hopefully the sorting of them helps them keep straight who did what and when they, what they were involved in. All right, in just a minute, I'm going to send a few of you off to record your thoughts. And you can record on whichever picture you want. If you want to do a picture of George Washington or a picture of Benjamin Franklin, you're going to go and record. Just a second. Remember when you do, let's look at it for a second. Remember how we comment? And don't forget, what's the one am I going to tell you not to forget? Uh, put your name. To pick your picture. To own your comment. If you don't change it, it'll be my picture that shows up. It'll be like, I left that really smart comment. Now, use the arrows and pick which picture you want to leave a comment on. Which one do you want to talk about? Benjamin Franklin at the library, with the kite. Okay, so you're going to click on record when you're ready. Do you know what you're going to say? George is, is in a photo when he was pre in the president. Okay, click on record again. This is George Washington. Like it. Okay, so click on save. Benjamin Franklin was right over here, my friend. Independence with other Have you been on a computer? Because England was treating us very badly. And we did not want to be part of their country anymore. So that's why we wrote their independence. George okay, Washington, you Washington was, the about ben was the best. Uh, uh, was the best president. That's okay. Of We're gonna come back to it. Actually, after he married Martin. Martin. George Washington was the best. Was the best president of all. Actually, he married Martin. Martha. Adding the technology piece kept their interest and I'm hoping it will keep their interest as we go on so that they keep thinking about this instead of it just being, well, we spent a week on George Washington and we're done. We spent a week on Abraham Lincoln and we're done. I'm hoping that the voice thread will let them keep, keep thinking about these things as we have to move on to other things.